welcome back to our channel so as you guys know ella has a crib and we have always gotten a lot of questions about like when we're moving her into a toddler bed and like how long we're planning on keeping her in a crib and i bet she climbs out of her crib all the time she has never climbed out of her crib and she's never shown any interest to be in a different bed if that makes sense and we've kind of put it off and i explained it a little bit in previous videos but our dilemma is we're building a house and it will be ready in june or july and in the new house i want to give her a whole new room a whole new theme and she will be having a big bed in that room not necessarily a toddler bed but i want to get her maybe a bigger bed i'm not for sure yet exactly Yay. what theme i want to do for her room six months from now and by that time she will be three years old so we're stuck in this like weird limbo of she's still in a crib she's two and a half but i don't know what bed to get her now for her big bed and it's just kind of a weird thing because if we wait and keep her in her crib until the new house is built then she'll be in a crib after three and it'll all it'll be a huge transition into a new house and a new bed i thought i wanted to get her a little toddler bed to kind of transition from toddler bed to like new house bigger bed but i was looking at this crib and i'm pretty sure we can just take off this front piece and ben was kind of worried that maybe these side pieces would come apart but it's screwed into this big piece like this part right here which is the part that holds her bed up so i'm pretty sure it won't even be able to do that yeah so ben's gonna take it off for me i pulled him in really? here yeah i'm ready ella's never tried to climb out of her crib and she's had this crib since she was like six months old Avi's awake. Yeah, awake. Avi's awake yeah. should we go get her mm -hmm. okay let's go get her <laughs> hi Avi girl what you doing you always got your hair in your face, huh? Good morning, crazy hair. Hey, what you doing? You playing with your stuffed animals? Yeah, crazy girl. Did you see this? Yeah. It, it like flexes every time she's jumping on it. See, so like if she just was like going to sleep, it'd be fine. But I don't. I wouldn't trust her alone in here with it, you know? Right. Like overnight, I wouldn't want anything bad to happen. I mean, I guess the one thing we could do is we could literally just get just get something that's similar in length and literally just do this. Just need these two. Uh huh. So like get like a two by four. Oh, you could like saw. Well, I was gonna say you could saw off the bottom part of the crib, but. Like the, just that little piece, but then we wouldn't be able to like sell it or anything. So I mean, we could do that. That would probably be the quickest solution. Sawing that would be just to sawing right here. Yeah. But then again, I don't know if that would it'd give it more structure. More structure. I don't know if it'd be enough. Okay. Because so. imagine this. Imagine this is still here. This top is still gonna flex a little bit. Does that make sense? Okay, well this part wouldn't move though. If we're wrong, like if we're wrong about the like, not being, we're not going to fix it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like we'd have to get a whole new crib. Like if this, if I saw this off tonight or tomorrow or something, and we install it and it still is like flimsy, then it, like, it's not like we can be like, all right, that didn't work. Let's just put it together. Which I'm, I'm down to, I'm down to do it. I just don't know if it. Here, why don't you put that part, the top part, or even the bottom part, angle it this way but put it in okay get up on your bed okay well i have it right here so let's just i'm just gonna keep it here and i'll try and push it in what do you mean like if these are screwed in okay i'll get it or uh, here put it on the bed i can't all right see right there see look now jump jump it works awesome 
And that'll even look pretty right there too. Yeah, well. Alright, I'm not sure if you guys heard that conversation or got all the information from that, but basically we were both kind of half right. I was I was right in the fact that look, you see this? Yeah, that, that would be wobbly. But we figured out that if we just saw off like the bottom part of it and reattach it to these little bottom ones right here first, it'll make it look so much better than having this. But then it'll support it and then it won't be able to like come in like here, show how like kind of wiggly it is right there. Yeah, like if it's supported right here, then it won't do that. Which we just we just tried it. Like I don't know if you guys saw, it, but we she was holding it sideways. We mm -hmm. had her in there, and we had Daddy. Ella jump on it, and it didn't move. Anymore. Yeah. Daddy, you be careful. Yeah. Be yeah, really careful. Are you excited for your new bed, Elle? Yeah. Hey, mommy. Mm-hmm. Be careful. Okay. Be really careful. <laughs> You wanna come do it? Oh my. Okay, Ella's been waiting on doing this for a while, but Ella got some money for Christmas. This is from Nanny. Can you say thank you, Nanny? Thank you, Nanny. Oh, she's trying to put it in. Here, Jimmy, roll it up for you? Yeah. Okay, let me see. There you go. Nice job. And then my mom gave her some coins for Christmas so she can put it in her piggy bank. Here, let's take them out so you can put them in, okay? Ready? Okay. Yeah. She loves doing this. A baby one. It's a dime. Dime. This is a dime. No, that's, that's a, a quarter. Quarter. Yep. What's that one? Can you say a nickel? Nickel. 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 Yay! I love we help you, Bobo. Oh, Bobo needs it. Bobo we need to find Bobo a piggy bank because she has money that she needs to put in her piggy bank, right? Yeah. Say yay. Hey, yeah. I did. Her piggy bank? She doesn't have one, baby. Oh, we can't do it right now. We don't. She doesn't have a piggy bank. I'm trying to find one that looks like this in like a giraffe form. Or just like a ceramic, right? Yeah, or like a ceramic giraffe I one because I got this from Ross. I'm pretty Daddy. sure like forever Daddy. ago. And it's so cute. Yeah. All right, so it has come for a time that I've kind of been dreading a little bit. Ah. This, oh my goodness. I would say that for the most part, our house is pretty organized in each room. But Mommy. this, Avery's closet is a place where I just kind yeah. of throw Mommy, things. Mommy. Yes. I want this. Oh, we can't have that. Okay, so behind this door, I've already shown this before, but this is like, where I store all the girls' clothes, and every now and then I'll just throw it in a pile, the stuff that doesn't fit them, and then eventually, after the pile's big enough, I will go through and then organize them into their own bins. But I've already started a pile because Avery is switching sizes from like three to six, six to nine to 12 months, so a lot of this stuff doesn't fit her or it's just out of season. Um, I know. She's trying to what are you doing? Trying to what are you doing? Oh, she wanted that. Oh, my. There's your baby. All right, take your baby elsewhere. Baby, come here. <laughs> Either some of this is out of season or, like, this little birthday outfit she probably won't wear again. Um, some jackets. Like, some of this stuff is just, like, summery. So, I need to do both of the girls' clothes really quick and just get it all organized again. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right, I took out a bunch of stuff that's just out of season and doesn't fit her anymore and just kind of reorganized. Now I need to do these drawers because they're just kind of, it's mainly this drawer. It's just really messy. These are like her sets and her pants and like pajamas and stuff. Like these little pajamas are just like, they're short sleeve, so we probably won't put her in it. And by the time it's warm again like she's not gonna fit in it so just get, like get rid of that and these little ones so let's do this really quick this is done and i also organized and put her socks back her she has a lot of diapers she got a lot for christmas <laughs> I'm currently going over to Natalie and David's because I'm going to use one of their saws to make this cut because I don't act I don't actually have any saws or anything like that yet. It's kind of hard to do in a rental when you're not doing any of like the actual labor or repairs yourself to actually have saws and stuff like that. I didn't grow up 
around any of that. My dad never taught me any of that, unfortunately. That's one thing that I really, really wish that I had growing up was like being able to know how to fix and maintain cars and do simple cuts on woodwork and things like that that um, I have to kind of figure out myself. So I'm going over there right now. All right, well, we are back home. And as you guys can tell, this is what is left of the piece. It's all cut, so this is what we're gonna be using. So it was really, really quick. It took me like 10 minutes. Um, it was super, super quick. I tried to clamp it down and cut it. But now I actually need to go back and sand this, just because even though this is gonna be at the bottom of their cribs, I don't want them to act accidentally grab like the bottom underneath Ella's crib or something like that, and then like get a splinter or something like that, so I need to sand this down. Uh, we probably won't paint it, because nobody's gonna see it, so I'm losing daylight, so I need to get to it quickly, and then we also have some dinner plans as well, so kind of in a time crunch. It is installed and honestly, it looks really, really good. First of all, it looks good. And second of all, if I'm yanking on it, like it's super, I might not have to do this other screw because I tightened, I tightened this screw so much. So I actually am really, really happy with it and actually it went way better than I anticipated. I told Katie to come up here with Ella and we're gonna kind of see how it works structurally. Oh, it actually looks so good. I know. <gasps> jump, jump on your bed. Oh, I actually love that. Yeah, it looks really cool. Okay, you can jump on it. Yo, it's not moving at all. Look at the tops. Yeah, no, that's not moving. Oh it's my you. goodness, thank that looks so you. good. I love you. Can you say thank you, Daddy? Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, you baby. Up with a new bed? Oh, no more jumping. No more jumping. Yay, Amy girl. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you love it? Yeah. I actually I like that a lot. I know, it's actually like. It looks really mommy. good. Yeah. And you can't Mom even see the bar or anything. I know. Mommy. This is your new bed. Okay, so we just came back from my mom's house. We spent the night there. Aunt Cheryl actually bought pizza for everybody and we had pizza and we played games so we just came back and it's actually pretty late it's like 9 20 right now but Ella's super excited because she gets to sleep in her new bed are you super excited yeah. I don't think I've ever seen her so excited for bed you want to go pick out your jammies time to brush your teeth oh good so let's brush your teeth okay I got a chin. it's mommy's turn first and then it'll be Ella's turn okay Camera. Okay, Ella's turn. Hey, Mommy. Mm -hmm. I keep going. Okay, you can keep going. This is Roger. Mm hmm. Brush your tongue. Good girl. All right, y'all done? Mm hmm. Okay. Rinse it off. Tap, tap. Yeah, uh, Say, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Say, I am smart. I am loved. I am loved. I love Hugging Your new bed? I want to jump, jump Oh, we're going to lay down in your new bed mm -mm. Yeah, it's your new bed, are you so excited? No Why not? And then nighttime It is nighttime, we can put your stars on No Yeah, are you ready it's for your new bed? Owie. It's not owie <gasps> Can you lay down for mommy? Lay down no. Yes, let's lay down. No jumping. No jumping. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Do you want the pillow, yes or no? Pillow. Papa. Do you want the pillow? Do you want the pillow, yes or no? No. Okay, we'll take the pillow off. Lay down, please. No. Lay down. Do you want daddy to do it? Okay, then let mommy do then it. Then you need to listen to mommy or daddy's gonna put you to bed? Get up on your bed, please. Get up on your bed. Lay down. All right, let's put your blanket on. Lay down. Can I lay down? You already had a Baba, baby. No, Baba. Sissy Bobo is sleeping. Do you want your mama? 
down off of your bed, okay? You have to stay in your bed, okay? You have to stay in your bed, you can't get down, okay? Sissy Bobo is sleeping, okay? You gotta lay down, let's keep your blankets on, okay? All right, mommy's gonna go out of the room and you can't get down, okay? You gotta stay right here. I want iPad. No, we don't need your iPad right now. I want... We can watch Soul tomorrow, all right? Here's your little bunny. Okay, your bunny will stay down here. Okay, mommy and daddy are gonna go. Don't get down off of your bed, please. You gotta stay in your bed. We're watching her. We're gonna see if she gets out or not. Oh no. All right, you guys, it's almost 11 o'clock now. Ella went to bed about an hour ago where she finally fell asleep. Ben had to go in there one time and talk her down and calm her down. And she was still really upset. And so I went in there to calm her down, gave her kisses, and now she's asleep. So let's go check on her. She is a sound asleep. For you guys, today is actually New Year's Eve. So happy New Year's Eve to everybody. And this is the last day of 2020, which is crazy. And I'm ready for it to be over. I hope you all have a happy new year. We will update you guys in our next video about how Ella did and if she woke up throughout the night or when she woke up or what happened when she woke up because I'm really, really curious to see how it's gonna go tomorrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram for you leave and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys.